I had this with whipped cream and marshmallows on top because that's how you have to have a hot chocolate. I have mine with a Rick. <laughs> just as quick as September but <laughs> there we go quite random favourites for you this month I haven't really changed up the makeup that I've been using so I haven't tried anything new um, apart from two things which are going to be is it two things? two things that I'm going to be showing you today um, apart from that it's really random so yeah it's probably going to be quite short as well but I love watching short favourite videos anyway so I thought I'd still do it first things first I will start with the makeup the first makeup item is the Rimmel Stay Matte Foundation uh, Foundation. the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder if you remember I bought these to take on holiday with me I got them in two shades I got them in Peach Glow which is 003 and in uh, Silky Beige which is 005 I'm currently wearing the Peach glow now. I was wearing this on holiday, but tans wear off, and it's now October and rainy. And I obviously am back to my Casper Ghost kind of look, uh, so I'm back to this. But this powder is amazing. It's as you all know, I love a matte finish, and I love the finish that this gives. I just use the Real Techniques powder brush, I rub, roll it all around in, and then I pat it on rather than like swelling on if that makes sense but it does last all day and it's so easy to top up as well you can just throw this in your bag with your powder brush um, and just take this and maybe a concealer as well and you're good to go for most of the day also I've been using this all month and you can still kind of see some of the pattern on here you might not be able to see it on camera but you can see like still see the Rimmel crown thing on there so I have a feeling these are going to last me a very very long time Next makeup item is a blush and it's one that I got in um, a glossy box. It's a So Susan blush. It doesn't actually tell me what shade it's in so I can't tell you but it's a really nice dusty rosy pink and there's a little bit of gold shimmer in there as well which doesn't really come out on the cheek but that doesn't bother me. I'm not a big shimmer fan so when I first saw this I wasn't 100% sure whether I was going to really like it um, but I really do. The only thing with this is it's so pigmented that you literally tap your brush on it and tap off the excess and then use it and you're fine like you it's easy to overload this blush um, I'll just swatch it I don't know if you're going to be able to see that very well but it's a really really pretty dusty rosy pink and then if you blend it out on the cheek I haven't actually got it on today <laughs> but yes yeah, really really pretty and again it lasts all day which I love that blush I find lots of blushes usually wear off really really quickly this one does not. Ow. As you know, or you might not know, I much prefer to take my makeup off with the number seven hot cloth cleanser. However, sometimes, some days, you just can't be bothered. You just want to rub it off and get into bed. And for those days, I normally use the Johnsons. However, I went to pick up some Johnsons makeup wipes and I found the Nivea ones. Ta da! And I decided just to pick them up just to give them a go something different you have to try things differently occasionally and I've got Johnson's ones for years now so I thought I'd try something new and I am literally obsessed with these like the one thing or the first thing I noticed is the smell of them is so so nice I can't explain to you what it smells like it's just really really fresh and a really clean smell it smells a lot like what their moisturizers smell like <laughs> So if you smell any of your moisturiser, you'll know what these smell like. Um, but they're really nice on the skin. The cloths themselves aren't completely smooth, so I don't know if that's intentional or not. But um, I find it exfoliates my skin really, really nicely, really gently as well as I take my makeup off. And it removes all my makeup. And it gets rid of waterproof mascara, which for me, you will know, is a big deal because all I wear is waterproof mascara. So if it gets waterproof mascara on, it's got a thumbs up from me. They are on the slightly more pricey side, although, yeah, they are more expensive than the Johnson's, but I think it's worth it. These ones are the dry and sensitive, for dry and sensitive skin. It says it cleanses, tones and hydrates, remove makeup and waterproof mascara, and it's suitable for sensitive eyes, as all Nivea products are, they're all suitable for sensitive skin. Um, and this one is with natural almond oil and Hydra IQ. Nivea makeup wipes, everybody on the beauty kind of thing you will have seen this in my last video it's the Sally Hansen Hardest Nails um, base coat 
You can use this on its own or as a base coat, but it's basically just meant to strengthen brittle nails. Brittle, yeah, did I say that right? Strengthen brittle nails. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> I hope really notice a difference in this. But my nails break so easily, and not like just across. They, it's more they flake along the top of the nail, and it drives me nuts. Because as soon as they start to get thin, then obviously they chip, and then and then they just rip off when you catch them, and it's really painful. This has been a lifesaver. It's worked absolutely wonders on my nails, and as long as I keep them neat, I found the two pins. When they get long, and you start to think, "Oh, I really like that," like file them down, um, and then they'll build up their strength and get stronger and stronger, and the weak parts of your nails will come off. But yes, if you have weak, brittle nails and you're finding it really hard to keep them nice and long with this dry weather, hand cream and Sally Hansen hard as nails will probably be your lifesaver, as it has mine. For anyone who has nail problems, I would probably recommend some form of Sally Hansen nail polish because they are, all the ones that I've tried have always been really, really good. I feel like this has already been in a favourites video. It probably has. Well, I like it double as, doubly as much. Okay, on to a fashion favourite. As well as starting to get cold now here in England, um, we've all had to invest in our own coats. Our own coats? We're not going to share coats. We've all had to invest in coats. And the one that I got was this one. Now I did have a really really chunky khaki green one from Zara that I still absolutely love but because I drive to work I found it just too big to drive in and I found this one of all places in Sainsbury's and it was £40 and it has a hood which is lined and it's just grey and it's got these, I'm really bad at showing this, it's got toggles on it and then little faux leather bits here. It reminds me of Paddington's coat and I love it and it's so warm and it's so cosy and the hood fits perfectly which is another thing I struggle with with having a pea head um, hoods are usually too big and like cover my eyes and I can't see where I'm going but this one fits perfectly so yes and for £40 bargain if you ask me my battery was flashing at me so I'm going to have to be really quick and now on to really random favourites um, the first one is a mug ta-da this is a Kath Kidson mug and it was actually a gift from a lady at work who left and I think she got all the girls um, a Kath Kidson mug but this mug, if a mug can be in your favourite video, is my favourite mug. Who else has a favourite mug? Let me know in the comments if you have a favourite mug. Um, the reason I like this mug is because it's the perfect size. I find it keeps, this is probably a load of rubbish, but I find it keeps my hot drinks hot for longer. And it just looks cute, and I love the colours on it. It's like lime green, blue, orange, red, pink. I just really, really like this mug. Green and black's hot chocolate. This hot chocolate is amazing. I'm quite fussy when it comes to hot chocolates at home. I usually find the powder ones usually leave like clumps of powder in the bottom of your mug, or like they float to the top, and it's just, uh, I just don't like it, and I can't drink them. So I would usually spend a lot of money on Costa hot chocolates, going to Costa to get hot chocolates with the cream. And then me and my mum were out shopping after having a Costa hot chocolate for things. And we decided to treat ourselves to a slightly more expensive hot chocolate. And Green and Black's won it. I used to use usually use hot water to make them with the normal powder ones, but with this um, I use milk. And can I just say, the smell of this. If you've smelled a Green and Black's dark chocolate bar, that is exactly what this smells like. It's amazing. It's making my mouth water just thinking about it. Um, but it's hot chocolate drink, hot, uh, add hot milk for a luxurious hot chocolate drink. Lovely. Amazing. And it doesn't leave bits. It literally dissolves really, really quickly into the milk. And I think it actually tastes like the Costa hot chocolates. Maybe it's like slightly richer of taste because it's more of a dark chocolate, hot chocolate. Dark chocolate, hot chocolate. Yeah. I have mine with whipped cream and marshmallows because that's obviously how you have to have your hot chocolates, right? I really want a hot chocolate now. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is my October favourite. Apart from really cute little Halloween nails, and mine currently have, let's see if it will zoom in, uh, in focus. Will it? Will it? Will it? Probably not. No, no. Little pumpkins. They've got little pumpkins on. Sorry about that, Brandon. They're cute. <laughs> and also, for my previous video, I've done a couple of others as well. So if you haven't seen that, I'll link it below. You can check it out. I did five different little Halloween nail designs. 
Oh, do you have a favourite? Stun dusted. Bring on November. Bring on firework night. Can we start saying bring on Christmas yet? Probably not because it's Halloween tomorrow. Happy Halloween for tomorrow, everybody. Let me know what you're going to going as for your Halloween parties. Let me know what you're going as. What? What am I trying to say? Ugh. Let me know what costumes you're wearing at your Halloween parties this year. Um, and yeah, check out my Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Links will also be down below as always. And I will see you next time. Bye. <laughs>